Stem cells are the body's raw materials. They can either stay being stem cells or become other kinds of specialized cells. Think of it like a Lego piece because it can connect with other pieces or remain unused. The two types of stem cells are embryonic and adult stem cells. Embryonic stem cells come from early stage embryos, while adult stem cells come from tissues like bone marrow. Embryonic stem cells are pluripotent. That means they can change to become any cells. Adult stem cells are multipotent. Hence, this means they can change to become other types of specialized cells, but not as many as embryonic stem cells. As the embryo grows, the embryonic stem cells will develop into different types of specialized cells to form a complete body. But have you ever wondered, how do they even get specialized? How does a neuron or a tissue cell have the structure and function they have? Let's take a step back and remind ourselves that each body cell contains the same DNA except for a few cells like red blood cells. This means that different cells such as tissue and muscle cells don't have different DNA but they have different set of active genes of the DNA. The stem cells will activate certain genes of DNA in their process of differentiating themselves into different types of specialized cells. This different set of genes that are activated and expressed by the cells will determine their specialized functions in the body. For example, a cell that will become a liver cell will have different genes of DNA expressed compared to a cell that will be a muscle cell. Scientists are thrilled with the discovery of stem cells as they could potentially be the solution to leukemia. Leukemia is a blood cancer. Leukemia happens when the patient's bone marrow produces too many abnormal white blood cells which can function normally. To treat this cancer, the doctors will give chemotherapy in the form of drugs injection or radiation that will help to kill the abnormal white blood cells. However, chemotherapy may damage untargeted cells as well. Fret not because scientists have discovered a stem cell transplant that could treat leukemia called hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. Hematopoietic stem cell is a type of adult stem cell as I have mentioned before. Hematopoietic means an immature and unspecialized cell that can develop into all types of blood cells, including white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets. In this transplant, the doctors will take a sample of blood or bone marrow from the patient's or donors. This sample contains hematopoietic or blood-forming stem cells. Once the chemotherapy procedure ended and all abnormal white blood cells are gone, the doctors will transplant the healthy hematopoietic stem cell into the patient's bone marrow. The healthy hematopoietic stem cells will develop new normal white blood cells. In a nutshell, stem cells give a ray of hope to leukemia patients. Scientists aim that this discovery will be the stepping stone to a stable leukemia prognosis.